Hello YouTube and welcome to a new Unity 3D tutorial. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is carry on with our loading and we're going to actually look at loading some new properties to it. So we're going to look on how to save and load booleans, floats, integers, vectors and pretty much that's it I think. Yeah, um, It's really simple to do though and quite cool as well. Really the codes are all the same and it's pretty much the same for multiple programs as well like C Sharp and this should be the same. So the first thing I'm going to do is save game our game. Paused. Save. So we've got a definite save, so let's go and have a look at it. So here is our save, and as you can see, it's basic. So what I actually want to do first, though, is make it so there's a gap between there. That's all I want to do first. So we're going to go and open up our on-screen actions in GUI scripts. Boom. And we'll scroll down to where it begins to save, so we can just actually close some of these functions. Like so. so save data and all we're going to do is at the end actually at the beginning of player details here we're just going to put a slash n so then it will give it a gap and we don't need to test that we can just see that after um, also what I want to show you is another one uh, I'll go and show you, I need to show you anyway so I'm going to show you another command as that as well called the tab so if you didn't know you press tab it adds four spaces I think it's four it might be five but it counts as one object but yeah so to do that it's really simple, Game so if I just save that, go back to this, it'll say reload it. So we've got a gap, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push that out. I'm not going to keep it, I'm just going to prove that it can be done. So right here, instead of putting slash n, or you can put it right after it if you like, slash t. You don't need any spaces, just put slash t, that'll tab it out. So if I come back, and I think Game if I just paused. save it, it should do it. And reload. As you can see, it didn't do it, so let's take it. So as you can see, it tabbed it out. I just went back and saved it. I had to reload the game. So, tabbing, really, really easy to do. So I don't want that in, obviously, and I don't know why I just saved it. That was kind of pointless. But hey, so we take that out then. There's other commands as well. I can't remember any off the top of my head. I only use the new line, that's what the N stands for, or the tab slash T, so yeah. So we're going to add a new one here, and I want to actually add the character's position. So vectors first. Now, vectors you can actually save just by, if we put this down and say character position. I like position. In fact, I'll just say pos. It's easier. And then in here, we'll simply type character, because at the top we have a variable called character. We'll type here, character.transform.position. So that'll save the character's position, but if we go and look how it saves it, it's kind of awkward to actually load it, because at the moment we've said split it at the equals, but then this vector saves it with brackets and commas, so we need it's either create an if statement with more lines, pause. or save it as three separate variables. So if I save it and go and reload it, yes, you see it saved it like this, bracket, comma, comma, bracket whereas this one has nothing. So we can't really say load everything after this, it doesn't work because vectors don't understand that or that. But if you save it as separate variables, you can save it like that. So it's one variable, one variable, one variable. And it's a lot easier to do. Yeah, it takes up more lines, but it's three lines to save like five or six lines, so it's worth it. So what I'm going to do is character pos, I'm just going to put x pos, just like that. So x position. And in here, I'll just put dot .x. New line, new line. This will be z, this will be y. And same again, y, z. Perfect. So that'll save the character's position. That simple. So let's go and load it before we go and try it again, because then it saves time. So right here, we're going to duplicate this once, only once for now. And I'm going to copy this, so if it equals character x pos, then what we want to do is set character.transform.position.x here. And we say equal to get data one dot two string, but it's not a string; it's a float. And the reason it's a float is because integers go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whereas floats go. Um, this is going to be even higher: zero, zero point one, zero point two, zero point three, zero point zero 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 two. It goes on like decimals. Integers don't have decimals, so we need to convert it to a float. Easy enough. So what I'm going to do is at the beginning of get data, I'm simply going to type float dot parse. Parse, I have no idea what it means. I think it's a fancy word for put through. So 
basically convert to follow that's what it means and you're not going to believe this that's how you convert nearly everything we're going to do today so if you wanted it as an integer int it does the same if you wanted it as a boolean boolean but make sure with that you've not got anything else it has to be lowercase t true lowercase f false if it's not it, you'll get an error string you saw is differently that's the only different one so that's how you load the vectors so we're going to do rotation in a minute as well so yes so that's how they do them so let's go back it should create three more lines then we move we click load and it should go characters position boom changed hopefully if so that would be really cool and it work but what we will have to do is I'll have to take over one of the land tutorials soon to figure out the saves of it so because we need to do that as well so I'm going to just going to look at this planet and press Game that paused. and we'll click save so we go back to this reload as you can see uh, minus three nine nine zero minus three two eight minus three nine nine zero minus three two eight perfect so we'll click resume and I'll fly all the way over here I keep pressing shift for our land game as you can see, we are nowhere near that planet. Well, we are, but... Game we paused. click load, and you will see that it hasn't worked. So why hasn't it worked? So let's pause it and have a look. You can see our character is now there, it's moved, but the camera's over here. And it's, it's kind of difficult the way we've done it, because we've made it so our FPS camera leaves it. So it's not the best feature. So what we can do is rearrange it. So by rearranging we need to think about it logically again the pause takes the main camera out so we can see we know that the character moves though so there's two options I can see we don't disable the character we we'll leave them on but we find a way to disable all the scripts or we record the main camera's FPS position I'm gonna go we're recording the FPS position it just seems a lot easier than disabling every script because sometimes if you think about a land level a script might not be active so if you disable all scripts when you re-enable them all of them will come back on and it, you, yes you could go into save states and everything why not just save that one thing it works a lot easier so we're gonna go back to our on-screen actions and we're gonna duplicate all of this and I'm gonna say um, camera I hope that's how you spell camera. Camera, camera, camera. Just like that. Easy enough. So what I'm going to do is say, well, I'm going to leave that actually. And I'm going to grab this and type game object dot find. And what's it called? It's called main camera FPS. That's really annoying. Let's change it. Ooh, actually, let's not change it because some things depend on it. Yes, yeah, some things depend on it. Let's not change it. So I'm just going to say main character FPS dot transform blah blah blah. Replace that. Replace that. And that's done. It's a float again because it's a position. We know that. So don't forget these need to be else ifs. Well, don't forget. I never told you. But basically, if you put if 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 if, it's going to say 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 it's scanning the first line character name. It comes down. Does equal character name? Yes. Sort it out. Then for that same line where it says character name, it's going to search is it pos, is it y, is it blah blah. And that's not what we need. We need it to search one for one line. As soon as it finds it, stop searching. We've already found it. So that's why you put else into it. And what that'll do is I'm going to put that out so it's even. So it'll search a line. If it finds it, it'll jump back. It's done. But if it doesn't find it, it'll try again. Then again, then again, until it finds it. Then it'll stop. So it saves a lot on processing power. And yes, sometimes you're going to get where he searches the entire if statement. But it works. Case statements don't really change anything. It works the same. So, if you keep them on one line like this, it's even easier. I use it like keeping things neat, but think how many lines you'd have. But yeah, so we need to come up now. And I'm, what I'm going to do is actually duplicate this entire block here. Boom. And I'm going to say camera details. So we've got a new one. Now, camera doesn't have a name, so we don't need that. So I'm going to say camera x pass and y pass and z pass, just like that. Then I'm going to duplicate this bit, so the FPS find, uh, to there, and I'll put it into here. So now what it'll do is get the x, y position of the camera, save it, load it. Then it should just move all together as one, so it should be really cool. So let's try it, it should be really cool. So after this I'm going to try and find a boolean to save then in the tutorial because it's 10 minutes nearly 
but if we can't then I'll show you how to do it well I've already showed you so so let's just see we're looking at this we need to save rotation as well but game pause. pause we save it go and have a look where it says reload we have camera details so let's fly far away do, do, do. we also need to save both of the users in the atmosphere too or not and stuff like that because if they are in the atmosphere then they load it then it messes up so as you can see oh dear I'm lost I've gone so far away I can't even see game so pause. let's load game boom then we look around and we're back perfect so obviously it's a bit of skip you want a loading screen and stuff we will eventually add it for the loading bar it requires pro or you use web to do it for free but we're not posting it to the web so we can't test it but yeah so last thing I'm going to do is show you how to use the a boolean then rotation then we're going to do them so it's really easy so rotation there are three rotate commands which are really really confusing there is and I'm not counting the local ones here because that's even more there's rotate rotation and EU law angles but I don't know what the other two are actually for they really confuse me just use EU law angles and it works fine so what I'm gonna do is we do need it for each one again so for the saving I'm gonna duplicate not everything the four so here we have camera x rot so rot not rot as in the green stuff on your roof the rot is in rotation so transform that e u la e r angles i still need to figure out how to say that is that angles or angels that's angles right same again exact same procedure but we'll do it for the camera as well this time so rot again rotation 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 and I can just copy that thank heavens there so we've got all three of them so we can copy this and we'll take in fact we don't need to copy that we want these ones so yes this loading one you can space it out if you like I'm not going to it's your decision really but you don't have to so I'm currently doing the camera here so it looks like I was just going to be a bit backwards then I want the EU light angles to rotate back so here 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 it's a float again because if you look it's decimals so we want it perfect pretty much and then I want to duplicate this again for our main bit character x pass I could have done this better y x rot and we're nearly done so I just skipped that bit to save some time because it took too long but hey xyz blah blah blah, blah, blah. as you can see all done so we can try it but we need to find a boolean to save so so the one I think I'm gonna save as a boolean is the atmosphere one it seems to work fine because if the atmosphere is true it automatically checks what to do with and stuff like that so we're gonna go and find on our character collisions I believe it's in in here so after a bit of hunting because our script bounces everywhere um, I found it look, comes to the alerts which is on our GUI scripts alerts here and it tells you all sorts of booleans what we can try well it actually only tells you one but so what we'll do by looking at this is atmosphere show is the one we want to show so we need to bounce to alert save atmosphere show and then alter it because if atmosphere show it does everything here pretty much everything we could go into more depth by saving the timer but that it's there and I don't want to <laughs> so we're going to go back to on screen actions here and in save game it's not camera details and it's not player details so I'm going to stick it in its own so here we'll say world details in fact alert details so that can account for critical damage stuff like that so here we'll say atmosphere alert active so we can say whether it's true or not and in here we're simply going to type game object dot find GUI scripts dot get component alerts dot and then we can come in and grab atmosphere show and then that I'll save it as boolean or not so I'm going to copy this entire line because that's too long to write again so we're going to come down here duplicate this with control slash command D if you're in notepad plus plus so we're going to come down and grab this one is alert active and don't forget you can space these out like that it doesn't matter as long as they're close it'll do it you could put it like 200 lines down and it won't matter but try 
obviously not totally silly a little bit so we're going to come in here and grab that GUI scripts alerts but it's not a float so like I said earlier you load it as a boolean I believe that was on down so you simply come in and type boolean dot parse I've never actually seen boolean before I just typed it one day and it worked so hey I vector threes don't work I don't know I've not tried it and I don't want to try it but booleans in everything like that pretty much I don't think you can do an array though and I've also tried with a class and that didn't work very well either but yeah so um, what we need to do is save out well save in it and then it'll jump us back hopefully so I'll go into it and hopefully I can still see the planet while we're there otherwise we'll get an error so we see the planet we'll fly this way so I have atmosphere damage as you can see the planet's there Game Pause paused. It. Perfect. Stopped all sound because that. Ah. Oh. Okay, it slowed it down. I'm just gonna save quickly. Save. Click off so it can't beep. Oh, I caught it. So we're gonna go back, reload, and we say we have an error. So our error is in here, and it's simply because it can't find that because it's disabled. So all I'm gonna do is quickly fix it by typing if gameobject.find.missscripts does not equal null. So what it'll do is if it can, if it finds that, then it'll use it. Otherwise, it won't say anything. Hopefully, that'll stop our error. So our er error had nothing to do with the alerts kicking off. It was simply because I forgot the underscore. I hate that. I really need to change that. But everything relies on it. I might do that eventually. But that's that was the whole whole error because I forgot that one thing. And it took ages, I had to disable things, I had to look at it, it was annoying, I apologise. Let's get straight back into it just because we can. So pause, save it, give it a second, just to load. So that, I saw my mouse tick then. So we come back, yes, boom, true. Okay, I guess it is, you save it as capital then. My apologies. Um, yeah, so there it is, so let's try and load it. So we're going to come back in, I'm going to fly out. So hopefully it stops there. So we are nowhere near it, as you can see, where we were. So let's face this. In fact, we don't need to. Game pause. Load game. Boom. So as you can see, oh, everything's messed up. It didn't work 100%. And the reason is because we've loaded the main camera's rotation from outside. But yes, yeah, so we've got a line 200. So I'm nowhere near. So we're going to pause. Game pause. Load. Boom. Perfect. Look at that. So obviously the rotations, oh dear, heavily messed up. But the reason is we are loading the position from watch zero 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 there. But if we drag it out, we are loading ninety. So it's completely different. We will fix that eventually. Don't worry about that. I showed you all the basics of it. Really simple. It's that silly underscore. I hate it. But as you can see, it's slowly getting bigger, and it will continue to get much much bigger. As I said last time. As you can see, this is my thing you want like for lost maps. As you can see, it's not short. It saves everything, and I've still got things missing, as you can see. I have a lot of things to do. Saving is here. It's even longer. Don't worry about it. The longer it saves, the more better it will be. I've saved sunlight, flying, swimming, everything. Remember, save as much as you can. The way I look at it is if you want something to be the exact same, save it. So if you want, obviously your position is going to change because your character is not going to be wandering off by itself. Unless you want him to, that would be kind of funny actually. But like, a planet is position. Well, don't forget, if you can you load it, you're going to load a new scene. That's the way you want to look at it. So if you, say, are stood in front of a shopkeeper and that shopkeeper wanders around, you don't want to load his position exactly because then it will look like no time's passed at all it'll look like he's just being frozen there but if you let him wander off and it'll just spawn back where he started it'll look like he's been wandering around during the time or if you let the sunlight just randomize at the beginning just make it look cool only save what you need to save like your position your items and stuff like that i really hope you liked it i was actually skeptical about this at first thinking it'd be a short tutorial but hey 20 minutes thank you for watching i really hope you enjoyed it please join my facebook group any problems comment below and i'll see you